Hello and welcome to the Lost Library and Pillars of Eternity. Well, we have a new companion. We have brought in a priest by the name of Durance. And this guy is going to play our support role. He has a number of support spells and abilities. So this is going to be interesting to go forward with Durance in our party. Hopefully we can trust him. He's kind of an odd fellow, um, but I think there's a, uh, I think there's something, there's more to this guy than meets the eye. And he might become an important figure as we continue in the adventure. So here we are, back in the forest looking for the widow. That's right, we're looking for a widow that has the powers or the, I guess, ability to be able to help Afra in Gilded Ale with her situation, uh, her pregnancy uh, that she's dealing with. Let's see how this goes. It's early in the morning. I don't think we're going to bother the widow at, let's see, yeah, hour one. It's still very early. So what we are going to do is we're going to continue exploring through this map here. Most likely, I would think the widow lives in this area right here, but we could be wrong. This is the Shrine of Magron that we found. Is there more to this? Yes, there is. A statue of Magron, goddess of war and flame. Dozens of names have been scratched into the stone at her feet. Supplicants seeking her blessing. Okay. Yeah, we have to figure out a way to help out Afra. She's worried. She's very worried that she could be having a child without a soul. And if that is the case, as much as I understand it anyway, Raedric, Lord Raedric, will not allow her to remain in the village of Gilded Vale. So let's gather everybody together. Okay, and let's let's go forward. Oh, I guess we shall make a new formation as well. Let's do that right now. So we have this one here. So how we'll do this, actually I kind of like this, kind of like this the way it is. Yeah, I think this is good. Or maybe we could put, you know, I'm almost starting to think of putting a Lost a little further up. And the reason why is, have you noticed the damage he's dealing with that Council Halt's parasitic staff. I'm thinking we might be better off with Lost helping out Tane and Adir. Not necessarily in the front lines, but close enough because with that staff, I think he can reach. Uh, from behind uh, a deer, especially, and maybe even Tain. Let's see the second formation. What do we have here? This is a little different. I think we'll go with this one. We'll do, we'll go like this. How about we go like this? And we go like this. And we go like this. And we go like that. Try that out. Okay, let's try that. 
Let's try the second formation and let's go. So they'll spread out a little bit more, which is good, while we're searching. Okay, there's the dead wolves. Okay, we want to come start coming down a little bit. Yeah. Nothing in here, I guess. I think we would have spotted it by now. Let's go further down. What time is it? It's hour two. Yeah, we're getting closer. To a decent hour to go and speak with the widow. Oh, what do we have here? Could be something here of interest. Nothing there. No plants. Oh, I think there's a plant there. No. Oh, who's this? Who is this? And what is this? This looks like more Adra. I'm sure it is. This is Adra. I'd like to get my hands on more of this Adra. Oh, this is interesting. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, we have a fine pole axe. It's two-handed, it's slow. It does slashing damage. Okay. You know what? Now that we have Durance, we can add more to our weapons. We can hold more weapons because I don't think Durance is carrying. Yeah, he has room. He's going to take the full axe. Okay. Let's read about that full axe. It's an enchanted Polax of two point uh, two of fourteen. So the versatile Polax is a powerful and flexible weapon that can deal devastating blows even against a fully armored opponent. Its straight bladed axe head is opposed by a hammer, allowing the wielder to switch between different damage types as circumstances require. Well, this is interesting. It's a slash, crush, damage. 18 to 25. The speed is slow, unfortunately, but still looks pretty good. Look at this weapon that uh, Durance is carrying. What is that? Durance's staff. That's enchanted 2 to 14. It's slow. 16 to 22. Crush and burn damage. Durance's staff appears to be made of a rough hewn shaft of ever burning wood. The crook at the end cradles a hovering flame. While many powerful weapon, weapons in the Eastern Reach can be enchanted to burn enemies, Durance's is unusual in that the entire force of the quarterstaff can be converted to searing flame at the wielder's will. So this is a burn damage quarterstaff, but it's slow. All right. We can look at how, he, how Durance looks. What is he carrying? Simple clothing? No, Durance's robe. What is he? What is that? Well, it gives him light armor, I guess. Oh, it's enchanted. Five of fourteen, though. So 
So plus three damage reduction against burn. Speed is minus 15%. So Durance's robe is frayed and tattered from heavy use. The lower hem appears to have been singed repeatedly and is caked with the ashes of countless fires. Okay. Should we give Durance the fine Pollux or should we give it to Tain or Adir? Tain already has four, Adir has four. No, it's going to sit with uh, Durance. Let's continue. This is Adra. Your reflection warps and twists in the live, gleaming Adra. More Adra. Nice if we could find some loose pieces hanging around. How's our map? Are we doing? Yes, we are. We're working. This is good. This is good. Oh! What was that? Why were... What did we miss here? Oh! Look at this! Oh, that's a vision. That's what it is. Lost is having his visions. Hmm. Uh oh, what is this? A young boar. Well, a young boar. Okay. Well, hopefully, this is going to provide some some food. So let's take out the arrow or the uh, war bow for a deer let's grab the hunting bow for Tane let's make sure that Durance is on AI and he is okay the only thing is in AI they're quick to use their spells on every battle it's the only thing I'm not too excited about. Oh, but look at this. It looks like he has six cast attempts. Is four here for level one and two for level two. That's a lot of spells. Okay, why don't we just leave this to for now? Why don't we do this? Let's take Durance out of AI and let's take Aloth out of AI just for now. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll have Tane. And we'll have a deer. Fire. Their bows. Huh? Got him. Oh, look how fast they are. Oh, we have one. We have two. So we have two boars and we have one young boar. Okay, we won't make that mistake again that we did last time. So a deer. You're going to go in with your sword. Tane, you are going to take your flail okay now everybody else is gonna take their position well you know what these are th we're not sure we have not run into these boars before so the first thing we'll do with the uh, lost is let's cast on the young boar right here just oh he's not close enough let's wait This is the one we want, okay. No, there's four of them here. Uh-oh. So we have, we had four wolves, now we have four boars to deal with. Okay. Lost is going to, let's see. There's four of them, I'm almost tempted to put. Well, let's do this. Aloth, you can cast your Arcane Assault. And you will. On the one that is near death. 
No, I think you'll leave those. Okay, you'll do this one right here. Where is a loth? It's right here. Okay, and lost, you're gonna take the same one. But... Okay. This boar is now injured and dazed for 3.2 seconds. It almost looks like this boar is circling around and it's gonna, it looks like he's making a, a move on a loth. That's what's happening here. Okay, our friend Durance, new to the party. I don't think we want to put you into spell mode just yet. Not yet. Because we don't we only have the one camping supply left. That's it. Let's see how we can deal with these. Do we have any of the yes, one boar is down, killed by a loth with his arcane assault. But the one of the other boars has hit Tain for 16 pierce damage already. Hmm. But Tain has, look at this. Look at this. Tain has two wounds. And you know with the wounds, he has that ability now. That force of anguish. Let's see if he uses it. Meanwhile, Lost. I think you are going to have to move out of here. Why don't you come out here and you can help out a loth. Oh no. Oh, the, did you see that? Tain, Torment's Reach, hits the boar for 12 crush damage. But the boar hits a deer for 10 pierce damage and then another 12 pierce damage. Okay. Lost, you have your rod, you're going to cast it on the badly injured boar. Oh yes, keep going. Looks like Lost hit the boar for 13 pierce damage with his rod. Tain crits the boar for another 14 crush damage. So let's continue with the uh, firing the rod. Hits it again. Oh, it looks like Lost. No, Tain kills the boar. Okay, here's another one, Lost. Right here. Just with the rod. And you know what we'll do? A Loth with your scepter. You also have an Arcane Assault, so why don't you take that on this one here? Yes. I think there's serious damage there. Tain killed another boar. Look at this, and the party gains 495 experience points. Is anybody leveling up? Not yet. No. We have one boar here that's still injured. Yes? And a lot fires with his scepter. Rod lost fires with his rod and it looks like Tain is doing some serious damage here oh Tain kills the boar with another torments reach did you see that move by Tain he hits the boar for 10 crush damage and finishes it off okay are we gonna get uh, let's see what we're gonna get out of these boars here boar hide oh, okay Hoping it'd be a little more than that. Might be worth something though. You never know. Okay, let's gather everybody together. Certainly. Did we grab that? I think we did. Okay. Let's look at our map. I'm going to go in this direction right here. Oh, we should be in Keep you quiet. stealth mode. Yeah, what are we doing? Running around like that. Okay. Let's continue. What's the name of this place again? Magran's Fork. Magran's Fork. Okay. Sure. There it is. There it is. And this is the shrine of Magran. 
Okay. Oh, what is this? This is an Adra formation. Okay, there's more to this than I think. We should maybe pay a little bit more attention to the Adra formation. Shouldn't we? Let's just head down here. Has to be something. Absolutely nothing so far. Oh, there's something finally. What is this? This looks interesting. Lost finds Saint Gyran's Horn. Okay, I don't think we have found that one before. That's new. Saint Gyran's Horn. Don't you feel like there's more to this Adra formation? Like we missed a cave entrance or something? It just feels like there's more to this. Yeah. But I don't see it. The one all around it. Hmm. the edge is that something no Found something here, it looks like. Yes. Oh, who is this? A forest troll. Ooh, we. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? We have not run into anything like this before. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, you know, there's Tane, our Amawa monk. who stands head and shoulders above the rest of his companions and look at this troll. And there's also another, looks like another human. Right here that's in trouble, maybe even dead. Ah, uh, what do we do here with this troll? Let's look at the map. So we are down here. I think we're going in this direction here. Or maybe we have to get past this troll to get to the widow. Uh, should we take it? I have a feeling this thing has some deadly, deadly blows. I think without a doubt, this is going to be the toughest creature that we've encountered so far, I would think. So let's prepare. I think for this one, as much as I don't want to, I think we're going to put Durance into AI. Tane. Let's get that. Let's get that uh, hunting bow out. And I want you to fire. A deer. Let's get your war bow out. I want you to fire. And I think we're going to also put a Loth in AI. And Lost. Let's get you right off the bat here. I think we, I don't think we have a choice with this troll. We haven't met one of these before. Uh, we have not taken on one of these before. Look at the size of this forest troll. Let's try just with the arcane assault for now. Let's see what happens. I know a lot is going to be firing his Minaletta missiles. He's going to take all of his cast attempts here. That, that's pretty much guaranteed. 
Aloth will not hold back. He never does. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Did you see that? Absolutely nothing. Now look at the size of this beast. Okay, Adir, it's time for you to arm yourself with your sword. Tane, time for you to arm yourself with your flail. Okay, Endurance, what are you going to do? Now Lost, you're out on the side here. And I think we're going to keep... You know what we're going to do, Lost? We're going to get you to cast the... Uh, Oh, you don't have it, do you? You don't have it. I think it's time for you to cast Wizard's Double. Oh. Okay. Lost has cast Wizard's Double. And it looks like already... A deer grazes the Forest Troll for 4 pierce damage. Tain hit the Forest Troll for 6 pierce damage. Lost. That, that's with. Uh, those were with the uh, with the bow. Lost. I think we're going to get you to take on the uh, spirit shield next. Okay. Now we're going to take Minaletta's missiles and fire. Oh yes. Okay. Lost hits the forest troll for twelve corrode damage, and a loth grazes the forest troll for nine corrode, corrode damage. Two Minaletta's minor missiles hit the troll who's now injured. Oh, interesting. Okay, interesting. Let's fire an arcane assault. Is the troll running away? No! Oh, he just... Oh, the troll is taking some serious, serious damage here. It looks like a loth hits the forest troll for another 11 raw damage and crits with an additional effect. The troll is badly injured and it's dazed for 11.8 seconds. All right, lost another arcane assault. Oh, this this tr forest troll is badly injured. It's dazed for 9.8 seconds. Lost just crits it for 25 raw damage. And it looks like Tain Chris, uh, crits the forest troll as well for 8 crush damage. Okay, but Lost is now finished with his arcane assault, so it's now the rod. Yes. Oh! The forest troll grazed the deer for 3 slash damage. But, a deer came back with his own hit for 8 slash damage, and then Tane followed it up with another 2 more crush damage. This forest troll is near death. This could be it, right here. This could be it. It looks like he's going down, right now. Yes! It looks like Tane gave him the final blow. Kills the forest troll. And what do we have here? We have troll skin. So the hide of a troll is formed of what appears to be several layers of thin vines, plants, and mulch, forming a thick, nearly impenetrable skin. Okay, well, let's take that. Thing is, though, our spells are down now. And we're going to meet this widow. Should we have? Should we rest again? How many spells? How many casts does Aloth have? He has three left. Oh. Lost has one left, but he still has the uh, Council Halt's parasitic staff. And what about our friend Durance? Mm. What did he do? He st he didn't really do much, did he? Kind of just stayed in the back. Oh, that's all right. Let's continue. And let's see what we have here. Oh! Oh, it's a cape of deflection, Falvano's amulet. No, 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 it's an amulet. Falvano's amulet, and it is properties of reflex plus five and healing bonus. Well, this is interesting. 
So we'll take that. Oh, golden obols valued at 18 copper pieces and a chewed letter. This piece of parchment is torn and flecked with blood and troll spittle. What little of it remains reads. Worried he may have come to harm. Once I reach Defiance Bay, I will hire guides to take me back west in safety and see if we cannot find Falvano. At present, I regret my eagerness to be away from Gilded Vale. It is very dark. Okay, let's take these here. It's no problem. And we can wear this. This is an amulet. Now, who's going to wear this amulet? It's deflection. No, no, no. It's a... What is this? Let's read this. Falvano's amulet. Plus five to reflex. Ooh, that helps a lot. Reflex is what? Right here, okay. And 25% healing received. Though never as famed as would claim, the Valian explorer Falvano was known as an eccentric who wished to see the world. Where possible, he traveled by foot to gain a local's appreciation for the sights sounds and smells of the lands he passed through. In practice, however, Falvano often claimed that his explorations proved only that the world outside of the Valian Republics was a foul, smelly place that paled in comparison to his homeland. This amulet is said to have belonged to Falvano. He was a man much taken with mild superstitions, and this talisman he said, was a source of luck. It also served more sentimental purpose, for it depicts one of the great ships commonly seen at the docks of his homeland. Okay, who's going to wear this? So plus 25% healing received. And plus 5 reflex. Okay, well let's, let's just take a look quickly at the reflex of our party here. So we have, uh, I think we can do that here. Too. Yeah, okay, so we have Reflex is 40 for Lost, which isn't bad. A Loth has 45, a Deer has 32, Tain has 42, and our new friend Durance has 22. I think this is going to go to a Loth. And where does it go? Where does he wear that? Oh, maybe it can't. Maybe he can't. So would it go there instead? Yeah, I think so. I think it goes where his cape is. See so if you take the cape out. Yeah, okay. No, I think we're going to stick with the cape. So Aloth is not going to take this amulet. This is not going to go to... I mean, Lost or a Loth are not going to take it. Oh, I think this is going to go to Tain. This is going to go to Tain. So that means his reflex goes up to 47. Okay. Good. Let's continue. But before we do that, I think we're going to end it right here because we are at the 30 minute mark. Having a lot of fun here in Magrin's forest. And I think we are going to be meeting up with the Widow in the next episode. We are pretty much clearing out this uh, entire forest. Had a lot of battles. First time we've run into a troll. Going to do some reading on the troll uh, just to see exactly what that's all about. And uh, we'll be coming back soon. I hope you're enjoying it. And if you are, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not because it helps our channel. Thank you very much for watching and we will be back soon.